Today we're going to do a quick video on how to use the towing functions on the GMC 1500. Uh, as you can see, we have a trailer, we have the truck, we're kind of walking our way through how to tow a car trailer with the pickup. Well, one of the important items is knowing how to understand the functions, so we're about to go through that right now. Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. Hope we don't get blown away. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, some of the functions in the dash. And we have an, an LED monitor in the GMC Denali's that your con gauge configuration can change when you go into trailer mode. The very last gauge is your voltage. And when you're pulling a trailer, you really don't care about voltage too much, but you do care about transmission temperature. So on your park shifter, there is a button on the end with a trailer image on it. And when you push that button, two things happen. One, your end gauge now becomes a transmission temperature sensor, and you also get a little trailer indicator on your dashboard. And actually, there's a third thing. Down in the bottom here, you're gonna see the output. And when you push your brake, you'll see the output of your electric brakes coming up on your dashboard. And that's all dependent upon how you've adjusted your brake uh, device. In the GMC truck, it has a built-in brake controller, and we'll talk about the built-in brake controller here. It's on the left side of the dashboard. You see these little drag buttons here. And what happens is these drag buttons will engage a display on your screen. And what that will do is tell you how much gain you have on your trailer from an electrical standpoint to apply brakes to your trailer wheels. It goes from zero, which means it's applying no brake at all, all the way up to 10, which is the maximum brake that it's allowed to give to the trailer and tell the trailer to lock up the rear wheels. The trailer's brakes will lock up if they have enough braking power. How you can adjust this is with the plus and minus. We typically, in this trailer, we know that when it's empty, a, a gain of two is just about right. And how you test that is when you're rolling about three to four miles an hour, you can pull on your brake uh, lever here. That will apply the maximum gain of two, and you'll look into your side mirrors and see if your trailer brakes are starting to lock up. You want that just when they're on the verge of locking up. You really don't want them to lock up. So you'll have it on the verge of locking up, and you know you've got enough gain on your brakes. We know for a fact when we put a five, four or 5,000 pound car in this trailer that we need the maximum of 10. So we would push this gain all the way to 10. 10 is the max. Uh, what will happen now is when we apply the brake, you'll see the output go all the way to the right, and that's a maximum of 10 when you apply the brake hard. Those are the basics of the, the brake controller. Uh, this truck is also equipped with what appears to be a downhill descent. Right. And the downhill descent is helpful when you're uh, pulling a trailer often because it will help apply the brakes uh, via the engine actually it'll apply engine pressure so this is actually the, the downhill descent button on the far right in the diesel truck it's there's actually a diesel brake uh, which is uh, they call it a J brake and so we also have a diesel version of this truck that we hook up and we use the J brake function in that uh, that's the big functions of the trailer uh, piece you want to make sure that the trailer is connected if it's not connected to your in trailer mode and you apply the brakes, you will see a display come up on your screen that says trailer not connected to warn you that the plug for your trailer is not applied. And those are the features that we feel strongly you need to know about trailering in the GMC. Uh, the diesel version is very similar in function, uh, other than the J brake, which the gas engine obviously doesn't have. That's it. As you can see, not all of our videos are about Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Corvettes, and Jaguars. We hope you found this useful and it will be one of several videos that we create about how to pull a trailer and use it with your truck. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, follow, share with your friends, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for joining us at the Volokton Garage. We'll see you soon.